Hey everybody, my name's Natalie and I'm the admin of Cricket for Beginners group on Facebook. So, lately I've been posting a lot of SVG files and I've had a lot of people ask how do I download these? I can't get them to download. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, you cannot download these from your phone. I don't know about an iPad or a tablet. I've never tried. But I can show you how to download them using a laptop or a desktop computer. It's going to work the same. So first, you got to find them. And they're, they'll be in the discussion. But the easiest way to find them would be to go right down here to Files. So see, we're on the left-hand side of the group. It says Cricket for Beginners and then about discussion members events photos or videos photos and then files so click files all right now that brings up all of the svg files and videos that i've ever uploaded here it's not a lot yet but it's i'm working on it so just bear with me and we're going to get a bunch of them and if you want to share and a free image that you found uh, or SVG that you've created even, uh, go ahead and push upload file. Just be aware of any kind of copyrights. If it's not for, if it says on there not to share it, then don't share it. If you created it, feel free to share it. All right. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to download this. So over here, on the right side of the screen, these little three but, um, dots in this box, click that. And it brings down this drop down menu that says download, upload revision, see original post, or delete. Well, we're wanting to download. Uh, I think I want to download this one instead. Download. Okay. And it's going to bring it down here. I tried this already once before. So instead of clicking it or double clicking it, just click this arrow beside it. And you can't open it yet. So just choose show in folder. And the reason why you can't open it is because the file extension has been changed. And we have to change it back to what it was originally. All right. Now it's highlighted here. And you just want to right click that and then choose rename. This is going to rename the, the file extension back to what it was in the first place, right? So you're going to bring your cursor right there next to that G and you're going to delete or backspace that on that extra G and take it out. And then you're going to press enter. And it's going to bring up this box that says, if you change a file name extension, the file might become, uh, become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Click yes. All right. Okay, now it's on your computer. You have saved it. And here you want to make sure that you pay attention to where it's saved. Because you won't be able to find it if you don't make a mental note of this. Okay. All right, it's saved. In mine, it's under downloads. All right, I don't need this right now, so I'm gonna minimize it. And so, what I where I want to be is the on Cricut Design Space. I go to my home first. All right, this is what Cricut Design Space looks like when you open it. And you're gonna go over here to New Project. I was already working, so I'll push Replace. All right, now this is your canvas. All right. And down here in the lower left-hand corner, you're going to see this little cloud with the up, up, upward pointing arrow. And you're going to click that. That's your upload icon. And now, right here on the left side of the screen, kind of at the top, you'll see this. It says upload image. Click that. Next, you want to push browse. Now. Remember I said that you need to make sure that you 
make a mental note of where your image was saved. Well, this one's mine saved on downloads. And I remember what it's called, so I can just find it like this. Type in glam, and then it pulls it right up. Alternately, you can go over here to your scroll ball, bar and scroll down until you find it. There it is. So I'm going to. You can double click it or you can click it once and then click open. Now, because I created this uh, SVG file on uh, a different software, this is saying that it contains items that are not supported and it wants to know if you want to go ahead and import it anyway. It's not going to hurt anything. Go ahead and continue. See, now I have my Glam Squad and it's got these pretty little red lips. And I want to tag it so I can find it real easy. So I'm going to name this Lips Glam Squad. And that just helps you to, when you are looking for it and you've got a ton, because you will have a ton of SVGs and PNGs in your library, I promise you. And this will make it so much easier to find it if you tag it. Okay, so now save. And there it is. For those of you that are still real new, best way to do this, get it on your canvas, is to click it. It puts this green box around. This is the one you've selected. So then you can insert the image. You click insert image. And now there it is. It's on the canvas. Now, if you like it like that, you can resize it if you want to. If you wanted to make it, put it on like a keychain, make it small. If you want to put it on a t-shirt, make it bigger. Um, you can also ungroup this because when I create these, I always group them together so it's one file and you don't have a big zip file that you have to unzip and then put everything together individually. So click on the image, make sure it's got this blue box around it, and then click ungroup up here under your layers panel. This right here is called your layers panel. So it's on the left hand side, no right hand side of your screens. <laughs> I get them mixed up all the time. It's on your right hand side of the screen. So click ungroup and then it separates this. So now you can move things around to suit yourself. Make it make the lips smaller. Make the Glam Squad bigger. If I was going to make a t-shirt for myself, I normally do like nine and a half inches wide for my the biggest part of my image that I'm going to put on my shirt. Um, and then you can play around with, um, you know, how you put your lips. You can turn them around and stuff once you get it the way you want it and you click make it I mean you might want to make this out of all one color and if you want to do that then you just would click the lips or you and then hold down shift and click glam squad or just select all now if you're going to make like I said if you're going to make this all one color say you want just all glitter you can attach this and then when you go to make it it's going to put it on one mat together. Okay. But if you don't want it together, you can detach it. Let's say you want the lips out of some real pretty red glitter. And you want the glam squad out of just plain black. Now, if you click make it, see what happens. It's ungrouped, it's changed into different colors. It separates it on two different mats. Then you can just place that, those lips where you want it after you get it ironed, the Glam Squad portion uh, ironed down. All right. So that's how you upload those free SVG files on Facebook. Kind of tricky. But, I mean, with this tutorial, you should be able to go on and just download to your heart's content. 
watch this video as many times as you need to. I know when I was first starting out, I watched videos hundreds of times until I got the hang of it. Y'all can do this. Have a good evening.